intangible, a presence believers can sense but not see or touch. But science may be about to change that. I took a train to Philadelphia to meet a neuroscientist who studies what happens in our brains when we have religious experiences. I'm about to see whether I can find the presence of God in my brain. Dr. Andy Newberry is pioneering a new field of study he calls neurotheology. And I know that you have done a lot of research on the brain, how the brain reacts to, say, spiritual meditation. Can you elaborate on that for me? Well, certainly, you know, as we look at the brain, we can see very substantial differences when people are religious or spiritual in their practices when they're trying to pray, meditate on God. You know, we can see what's going on in us as we think about God, experience God, pray to God, whatever the person is doing. So you're looking for physical manifestations of God? Yes, we're looking for physical manifestations of God. Okay, so I'm interested in finding out if there is any manifestation of God within me, in my brain. Right. Uh, we can take a look at that. Come on. See if we can find it. Ow. Sorry. I'm kidding. The process begins with an injection of radioactive dye. What happens if you drop that? Well, if we're still on the floor, we have to close that room and evacuate everybody. So don't spill it, okay? Don't spill okay. it. With your radioactive tracer in my bloodstream, and it can measure how much blood flows through the various parts of my brain. The more I'm using a part of my brain, the more radioactive dye it will accumulate. I already did a baseline scan while I was just resting with my eyes closed. Now I'm attempting to meditate on the divine to see whether anything changes. It's time to start focusing on your breath. All right. Uh, to try to get into as good a state as you can. Focusing on the breath, just trying to really bring really deep concentration to it, I think that'll be great. So we'll start now? You can go ahead and start now. Okay. How'd it go? Fine. How long was that? Uh, it was about 11 or 12 minutes. Before the radioactive tracer flushes out of my system... So you'll be all on your back. I have to quickly climb into this 3D scanner and see whether my brain has changed because I meditated on God. Look at it, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. <laughs> what? But uh, to me, it looks like you're smiling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see, or do you see anything? So these are your two scans side by side. Here's your resting scan, here's the meditation scan. And you can see, if you look at the frontal lobes here, it's mostly yellow, just a little bit of red. Whereas if you look during your meditation, the whole frontal lobe just kind of has blossomed. So if you are concentrating on something, if you're saying a prayer, if you're focusing on God, if you're trying to connect with God, then you tend to increase the activity in the frontal lobe. How do I compare with, say, a nun prayer, or let's say a Buddhist monk who is meditating? Do I compare at all? As with the nuns who were concentrating on a prayer, the Buddhists who were focusing on an image, they all activated their frontal lobe. And that's exactly what you did, too. If I was contemplating the image of God, could you tell the difference? We actually scanned an atheist who was a, a very good meditator, and we asked him 
to concentrate on God, to meditate on God, and he wasn't able to activate his frontal lobe very much. So in fact, if anything, as it you can see, that sort of it. decreased a little bit, yeah. So even though they said, yeah, I'm concentrating, I'm trying to contemplate God, they just were not able to do a very good job of doing it because they didn't really believe it. So I think part of what that told me is that regardless of, of what our practice is, the key is, is do you believe it? Do you buy into it? Is it important to you? It's amazing that somebody came up with the idea that you could shoot somebody full of radioactive drugs and, and look at their brain. The brain is just so unbelievably complex that it's not that there's one God spot or one God part of the brain, but it seems to be the whole brain that gets involved. And ultimately, these, these change the way you think and feel about the world. So apparently, it is possible to see physical manifestations of God inside us. Whether you're Christian, Buddhist, or any kind of spiritual person, experiencing the divine actually changes the brain, changes the way we see the world. That's really something. <laughs>